This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi, everybody, and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz Fall Edition. I'm your host, Nancy Moeller, and we're happy you could join us because this is a very important show. We started off with 16 teams at the beginning of this season. We are down to our final Four. In the first show, you're going to see Versailles and Van Wert, and a little bit later, Bath High School will take on Shawnee. The uh, anticipation is high in the studio right now. We're going to introduce you to our players. Joining us from Van Wert, we have Kaylee Jennings, Natalie Schreiber, Cadence Bowen, and Will Ogden. Van Wert is coached by Anita Zuber. Welcome back to all of you. Okay, turning now to Versailles. We have Kennedy Hughes, Jamie Holscher, Isaac Bowman, and Ethan Varner. Versailles is coached by Margie Treon. Welcome back to all of you. All right, first round 10 questions. Make sure, again, it's really important in this game that you speak up as loudly as possible with your answers. All right, we have our judge sitting over there in the shadows and he is going to help us if we need anything. Um, also be as complete as you can with your answers and let's have some fun, okay? All right, here we go. Question number one in round one. Which U.S. president was the second to occupy the White House? Yes, Van Wert. Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is correct. <clears throat> All right, question number two. Which two word French phrase literally means false step and now designates a social blunder? Yes, that would be Van Wert. Faux pas. Faux pas is the answer there. Okay, moving on to number three. Name the adobe dwellings built by Indian tribes in the U.S. Southwest. Yes, for sales. Teepees? Teepees is incorrect. So Van Wert, you've got a chance to try it. Okay. Nothing? Okay, the answer is Pueblos. All right, number four in this first round. Which state has Augusta as their capital? Yes, Van Wert. Georgia. That is incorrect. Versailles, you've got a chance here. Yes. Maine. Maine is the answer. All right, number five. In which year did seven U.S. astronauts die aboard the space shuttle Challenger? Yes, Versailles. 1989. That is incorrect. Van Wert, you want to try? 1987. Wow, that's also incorrect. It's 1986. All right, moving on. Number six. What is 200% of 800? Yes, that would be Van Wert. 1,600. 1,600 is correct. Identify the metamorphic rock that is formed from shale. Yes, Versailles. Limestone. Limestone is incorrect. Van Wert, do you want to try it? Yes. Granite. Granite is also incorrect. It's slate. The uh. answer there. All right. Three questions remaining in round one. Give either the real name or nickname of the person known for planting a large number of apple trees. Yes, that would be Versailles. Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed is correct. Which English king died in 1547 and was succeeded by his nine-year-old son, Edward VI? Yes, Van Wert. King Henry VIII. You've got that right, King Henry VIII. And your final question in round one. What is the name of the cowboy in Toy Story? Yes, Van Wert. Woody. Woody is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of round one. Here is our score. Versailles, you have 20 points. Van Wert with 50. We'll be back with the second and third rounds right after the break.
Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Right, welcome back, everyone. We're right in the middle of a game between Versailles and Van Wert, and this game will determine who goes on to play in our championship. Right now, here's the score. Van Wert with 50 points, Versailles with 20. That means, Van Wert, you're going to lead this round with five questions, all worth five points apiece. Please still ring in with your buzzers, even though they're all yours, okay? Give the term for obstructive, lengthy speech making, such as a 15 hour speech protesting a tax bill in the U.S. Senate. Yes. Filibuster. Filibuster is correct. Moving on, number two. Name the author whose book, Uncle Tom's Cabin, is widely credited with contributing to the outbreak of the Civil War. Yes. Harriet Beecher Stowe. Harriet Beecher Stowe is the answer there. All right, number three. Name the domed Paris building that is a monument to French heroes and other famous people. Okay, time is up. The answer is Pantheon. Okay, number four. Name the beautiful queen of Egypt who won the heart of Mark Antony. Yes. Cleopatra. Cleopatra is correct, and you have one question remaining. Identify the middle name of George W. Bush. Yes. Walker. Walker is the correct answer. All right, very good. Let's turn to Versailles now for your five questions, worth five points apiece. Everybody set? And please ring in with the buzzers. Identify the New York gateway to the new world where 12 million immigrants passed. Yes. Ellis Island. Ellis Island is the answer. What word beginning with the letter H designates the place where an animal or human <laughs> usually lives? Yes. Home. Home is incorrect. This was tough. It's habitat. All right. To which two parts of the body does the word cardiopulmonary refer? Yes, Versailles? Heart and lungs. Heart and lungs is the answer. Okay. Question four. Which instrument in the string section of the orchestra has a sound box and pedals that allow a change in the instrument's key as needed? Yes. Piano. Piano is incorrect. It's a harp. All right. Final question in the second round. Which term designates the public square or marketplace of an ancient Roman city? All right, team, time is up. The answer is forum. Okay, we've come to the end of our second round. We're getting close to the end here. For sales, you have 30 points, Van Wert 70. Again, our final round, 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. They are all up for grabs. Get the buzzers ready. And here we go with number one. Name the smart card inside a mobile phone that carries an identification number that would be Versailles? SIM card. SIM card is correct. In which year did Neil Armstrong first set foot? Yes, that would be Versailles. 1969. 1969 is correct. Name two of the four South American countries along the Tropic of Capricorn. Yes, Van Wert. Chile. Venezuela. That is incorrect. So, for sales, you have a chance to answer this. Yes. Chile, Argentina, 
Paraguay and Uruguay. Will we accept that answer since he had two? Yes, we will. It was Chile and Argentina. You're right. Okay. okay. Moving on, question number four. Which U.S. state is called the Bay State? Yes, Van Wert. Massachusetts. Massachusetts is correct. All right, question five. Which continent is the flattest? Yes, that would be Versailles. Asia. Asia is incorrect. Van Wert, you want to try? Yes. Antarctica. That is also incorrect. The answer is Australia. Oh. All right. We are down to our final five questions. Okay. Our score right now, Versailles with 60 points, Van Wert with 80. Here we go. What does the word purple describe in the first stanza of the song, America the Beautiful? Yes, for sales. Mountains. Mountains is correct. Yeah. Name Florida's state animal. Yes, for sales. Alligator. Alligator is correct. Question eight, how many amendments to the U.S. Constitution? Yes, for sales. 27. 27 is incorrect. Van Wert, do you want me to, oh, you're going to answer? Um, 10. 10 is the answer there. All right. Two questions remaining in this final round. Name the two European countries on the Iberian Peninsula. Versailles. Spain and Portugal. That is correct. Spain and Portugal. Okay, final question here. Name the field of study that is the study of human beings. Van Wert. Psychology. Psychology is incorrect. Versailles, you've got a chance. Yes. Anatomy. Anatomy is also incorrect. The answer here is anthropology. All right. Both teams, you have played really well in this last round. You have a tied score. All right, we have both teams with 90 points, and you know what that means? That means that we go on to sudden death, and I need to find my questions now for our um, sudden death. Whoever answers first is the winner and moves on to the championship. So again, make sure the buzzers are ready. Please make your answers as complete as possible. Is everybody set? All right. You both have played really well, so just relax in that. So here we go. Question one in our sudden death. Who was the 31st president of the United States? The uh, buzzer rang in, our buzzer rang in before yours did, so we cannot take your answer. It would have been Herbert Hoover. Okay? All right, moving on. Identify the term for a brief description accompanying an illustration or map. Yes, that would be Versailles. Caption. Caption is incorrect. Van Wert, you've got a chance to try this. Yes. Footnote. Footnote is also incorrect. The word we're looking for is legend. Huh. All right. We're stumping you guys. Here we go. <laughs> Question three and sudden death. Not so sudden right now. All right. <laughs> Complete the title of the following by C.S. Lewis. The lion, the, yes, that would be Van Wert. The witch in the wardrobe. Wardrobe is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game. Van Wert, you are the winners. Versailles, you put up a great fight, and we want to thank you so much for joining us. Van Wert, you're moving on to the championship, so congratulations. We'll be back with our next game right after this. Don't go away.
Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Welcome back, everyone. We have a great show for you tonight. My goodness, we just finished a game between Van Wert and Versailles High Schools. We went into three sudden death questions before we found the winner, and the winner is Van Wert. They'll be moving on to our championship, and they will be taking on the winner of this game, just about ready to begin here between Shawnee and Bath High Schools. We want to introduce you to our players joining us from Bath. We have Derek Inskeep. Natalie Crow, Tanner De La Cerda, and Jemin Gandhi. Bath is coached by Dan Grimm. Welcome back to all of you. All right, turning now to Shawnee. Playing for Shawnee is Reed Malcolm, Ryan Zhang, Colden Drexler, and Landon Schumacher. Shawnee is coached by John Young. Welcome back, gentlemen. All right, you know the drill. We have our first round here. Ten questions were ten points apiece. Again, I know you're reminded all the time, but it really is important that you speak up as loudly as you can into your microphones. Also, give as many details as possible, complete answers, and we will be good. All right, here we go. Question number one. What food do giant pandas normally eat? Yes, that would be Shawnee. Bamboo. Bamboo is correct. How many years are in a millennium? Yes, Beth. 1,000. 1,000 is correct. Identify the planet with Miranda, Titania, and Oberon as satellites. Yes, Shawnee. Jupiter. Jupiter is incorrect. Beth, you've got a chance to try this. Yes. Saturn? Saturn is also incorrect. Uranus is the answer there. All right, question number four in our first round. Which word beginning with P designates a floating bridge? Yes, Beth. Patagonia? That is incorrect. So, Shawnee, you've got a chance with this question. Pontoon is the answer we're looking for. All right. Who did the animated character Princess Fiona marry? Yes, Beth. Shrek. Shrek is the answer. All right, number six in this first round. Identify the narrow tube that does most of the body's digestive processes. Yes, Beth. The intestine? The small intestine? The small intestine is the correct answer. All right, number seven. What is the first element on the periodic? Yes, that would be Shawnee. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is correct. Name the Italian artist who died in 1519 and whose personal papers included a sketch. Yes, that would be Shawnee. Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is the answer there. Okay, we have two questions remaining in this first round. Name Ohio's oldest public university. Yes, Shawnee. Ohio University. That is correct, Ohio University. And our final question in round one. Identify the amendment that grants 18-year-olds the right to vote in U.S. elections. Yes, that would be Shawnee. The 21st Amendment. The 21st is incorrect. Beth, you want to try it? Yes. The 23rd Amendment. That is also incorrect. The 26th Amendment is what we're looking for there. All right, we have come to the end of our first round. We're moving into our second round now. Bath, you have 30 points. Shawnee with 40. That means you are going to be leading this round with five questions, five points apiece, very important points, I must say, and make sure you buzz in with your answers, okay? What is the capital of Nebraska? Yes. Lincoln. I'm sorry? Lincoln. Lincoln is correct. 
What is a perfect score in gymnastics? Yes. Zero. Zero is incorrect. The answer is 10. What word beginning with the letter M names the seasonal Asian wind and the rain it brings? Yes. Monsoon. Monsoon is correct. Which character of fable warned that the sky was falling? Yes. Chicken Little. Chicken Little is correct. And here's your final question in the second round. In which profession has Ansel Adams become famous? Yes, yeah, Shawnee. Poetry. Poetry is incorrect. The answer is photography. All right, Bath, it's your turn now. Five questions. Please buzz in with your answers. Which large seabird is called a goonie bird? Yes. Pelican. Pelican is incorrect. It's an albatross. All right. What is the occupation of members of the Grange? Time is up. The answer is farming. Which Canadian province's name means New Scotland? Yes. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia is the answer. And you have two questions remaining in the second round. Name the 16th president of the United States. Yes. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln is correct. And your final question in round two. Name the animal that is Thailand's national symbol. Yes. The Bengal tiger. The tiger is incorrect. It's the elephant. All right, we have come to the end of our second round, and here is our score, and it's a close game. Shawnee, you are leading right now with 55 points. Bath, you have 40. We'll be back with the final round right after this break. Don't go anywhere. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Right, a lot of excitement in the studio right now. We are only one round away from knowing who will be going to the championship of this fall season. We have a game going right now between Shawnee and Bath High Schools, and it is a close one. Right now, Shawnee is leading with 55 points. Bath, you have 40. Moving on again, like I said, into our final round of 10 questions. All were 10 points apiece. Let's get the buzzers ready. And here we go. In which galaxy does a resident of Earth live? Yes, Shawnee. The Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy is correct. Question number two. Typically, how many pairs of chromosomes are found? Yes, Shawnee. 23 pairs. 23 pairs is correct. Which British explorer is known for being the first European to visit the Hawaiian Islands? Yes, Shawnee. James Cook. James Cook is correct. What type of bird, a symbol of peace? Yes, that would be Bath. A dove. The dove is the correct answer. Name the first woman to be pictured on a US coin in general circulation. Yes, that would be Bath. Sacagawea. That is incorrect. Shawnee, you've got a chance to answer. Yes. Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony is the answer there. All right, question number six in this final round. What term beginning with the letter E designates a speech of praise delivered upon a person's death? Buzz. Go ahead. A eulogy. 
A eulogy is correct. Thank you for letting me know about the buzzer. All right, we have four questions remaining in this final round. Find the cost of renting a floor sander for 12 hours at $3.50 per hour. Yes, that would be bad. $42. $42 is correct. Question number eight. Which is the highest mountain in Africa? Shawnee. Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro is correct. Okay, teams, we have two questions remaining here. Our score, Bath, was 60 points. Shawnee, 115. Which song has the line and the rocket's red glare, the bombs, yes, that would be Bath. The Star Spangled Banner. You are correct. And your final question of your game. In 1933, which country resigned from the League of Nations? Yes, that would be Shawnee. Germany. Germany is incorrect. Bath, would you like me to complete the question? In 1933, which country resigned from the League of Nations after being branded as an aggressor in Manchuria? Yes. Japan. Japan is the answer. All right. We have come to the end of a tough game played between Shawnee and Bath, and it stayed pretty close throughout the entire game. Here is our final score. Bath, you have 80 points. Shawnee, you are victorious with 115. So congratulations, you'll be moving on to the championship. Bath, once again, well played. Thank you so much for joining us this year. Thanks for joining us at home. We will see you back here next week for the championship. See you then, bye-bye.